When I'm turning, I'm totally focused, centered in the moment, concentrating on form, the outline, the outline of the vessel. It's got to be perfect to my eye. It's purely intuitive. No two are exactly the same. I don't turn all the time. I may turn for 10 days, maybe more, then set those vessels aside to dry, maybe weeks, months before I get back to them. Today I'm working mostly with common local hardwoods, trees destined for the chipper or the fire pile, storm damage, or just in somebody's way. When a new batch of wood presents itself, I'm always excited. If I hear a chainsaw running, I have to go see who's bringing down what. I'm turning green wood whenever possible, a sustainable resource, continued life for that tree. It's important to understand that these vessels are not assembled from multiple elements, but crafted from a single piece of wood, directly from the log. First turning a wooden vessel on the lathe, then designing on the vessel, then sculpting that pot over a period of weeks. I might be reducing a 60 or 70 pound log to an object weighing less than two pounds. I work mostly every day. I've worked with wood since I was a kid. I've always used wood to solve problems, make stuff, give life to those ideas that gather in my head. Back then, it was give me an orange crate, or better yet, a construction site scrap pile, and I'll make you a go-kart, or a treehouse, or a rocket to the moon. The rest was all imagination. If I could think it, I could figure out how to make it. I recall as a kid helping my dad build my very own bedroom in the attic. But it was those hours spent in his basement workshop that became a permanent part of me. What he could do with a hand plane was mesmerizing. I always got the job of pulling and straightening used nails. I used to teach other kids' dads how to straighten nails. Today, when I pick up one of his tools or straighten a nail, I still feel connected. By the 1980s, I was making furniture, one-of-a-kind, hand-cut dovetails, mortise and tenon, hand-worked surfaces. Never did come close to my dad's mastery of that hand plane. I was in mid-career stage in the advertising agency business, and I'd go home at night and work till 3 in the morning, cutting dovetails or chopping mortises. I was an art director, designer, writer, producer, overall creative partner in my own agency by day, and a quiet, humble craftsman woodworker in the basement by night. It was a means of finding peace and focus in the midst of stress and chaos. I wanted to learn to make round legs for my furniture, so I took a wood turning workshop with David Ellsworth, master of the thin walled vessel. I had no idea. A bowl, a vessel, and I was hooked. I purchased a lathe and began turning. That was the end of my furniture making. I spent eight years filling my family's homes with bowls and vessels, all the time learning about form and texture, and of course buying every tool I could afford. In 2000, I left a 40-year advertising career and became a full-time wood turner. The work has moved from those early bowl and vessel forms into more sculptural work. Cutting holes in those bowls opened unlimited possibilities. Taking structural risks, experimenting with color and patinas, finding patterns and themes and rhythms in nature, using negative space as a design element, working larger, turning huge slabs. I was immersed in the notion of multiple images, pushing that idea all the way to the wall. I try not to stay in one place too long, but I do enjoy exploring a single theme in various forms. Making these objects from wood connects one end of my life with the other. That same restless spirit that pushed me to make things when I was a kid has turned out to be a great gift the ability to visualize, then figure out how, is my most important tool. Having the time to spend, my greatest luxury.